Let's go through this question together. A local substation has a primary line voltage of 11 kilovolts. It is a primary to secondary turns ratio of 50 to 1 and is connected delta star. They ask us to figure out what single phase voltage gets supplied to customers. Okay, so it's the single phase voltage that we are interested in uh, that gets supplied to customers. In other words, it's the voltage on the secondary side of this transformer that we are going to be interested in. Well, as normal, um, let's draw a picture of what is going on here, and particularly with these three-phase transformer questions. It's really important that you draw yourself a diagram. So here I've got the diagram already set up. Uh, they told us that it was a uh, delta star configuration. In other words, the primary side of the transformer is connected in a delta configuration, and the secondary side of the transformer is connected in a star or Y formation. Okay, so remember this is a delta formation and this is a star or Y or you might even see it written as Y, just the letter Y. Uh, what I've also done is I've labeled the connection points. Now you'll very often see them labeled this way h1, h2, and h3 for the uh, primary side, and x1, x2, and x3 for the secondary side. Uh, I've also noted here uh, line 1, line 2, line 3. Now, these are arbitrary. It doesn't always have to follow that the line 1 is the topmost line. It doesn't really matter how you order these, but it's a good idea just to make sure that you've labeled it line 1, line 2, line 3. And the same thing on the secondary side, line 1, line 2, line 3. Although in this case, because it is in star formation, it has the neutral point. And because we are interested in uh, the single phase voltage that gets supplied to customers, uh, this neutral point is going to be quite important for us. The other thing they tell us... <clears throat> is that there is a primary line voltage of 11 kilovolts. I just want you to notice the nomenclature that we often use. A voltage line primary is a, a very standard nomenclature that you should try and use yourself because it will make sure that you don't get your different values confused. So once again, this is the voltage, but it's the line voltage primary side of the transformer. They also tell us that mm, this transformer is a 50 to 1 ratio. Every 50 turns on the primary side has one turn on the secondary side. We've got the ratio. We don't need to know exactly how many turns there are in either of these coils, um, but because we've got the ratio. And they ask us to find the single phase voltage that is being uh, delivered to customers. In other words, it's the voltage between any of the lines and neutral. Now, <clears throat> obviously, another way that we can represent this single phase voltage is simply as the phase voltage inside this three phase system. Okay, so we're looking for the voltage that is the phase voltage on the secondary side. Now, let's just have a look uh, at a couple of things in this configuration, <clears throat> just to remind ourselves about star and delta connections. In the, uh, let's look at the delta side firstly. So in the delta side, we know that the voltage between the lines, the line voltage, is going to be exactly the same as the phase voltage over there. And I hope that you can see diagrammatically uh, that the voltage between that point and that point is going to be exactly the same as the voltage between that point and that point. So just to remind yourself, in a delta configuration, um, the line voltage is always going to equal the phase voltage. Now, let's have a look at current for a moment. 
When we look at current, um, let's just assume for a moment that current is flowing in that direction uh, through L1. It's going to meet this point here, and at that point it's going to split. So the current in the line is not going to be the same as the current in the phase, because the current is splitting, as you can see. Uh, we also know that um, the phases are separated by 120 degrees, and if you do all of the uh, fancy maths, you will find that the line current in a delta configured system is going to be equal to the phase current multiplied by the square root of 3. If you're not sure exactly where the square root of 3 comes, because you haven't gone through the mathematical procedure of deriving that, don't worry too much about it. Simply remember that formula. Okay, let's now have a look at the star side, in this case our secondary side. And again, let's look at voltage. Okay, so the voltage in a star configured system, well, we can see here that the voltage between line 1 and line 2 um, is going to be different to the voltages in the phases because we have this connection point. So in a star configured system, we've got the exact reverse, that the uh, line voltage is going to be equal to the phase voltage multiplied by the square root of 3. And you guessed it. Uh, the current, uh, if we just assume, for example, for a moment that the current is flowing in that direction, we can see that the current in the line is going to be exactly the same as the current in the phase. There's no splitting that's happening. So we know that the current in the line is going to equal to the current in the phase. So make sure that you've got those th so four expressions noted down somewhere. Uh, always a good idea to have them ready so that you can refer to them um, whenever you need to when doing these questions. Okay, so those apply to a delta system and these apply to a star system. All right, let's uh, go and see if we can uh, answer this question now. So remember, they asked us for the, uh, the voltage that is going to be supplied to customers. Single phase voltage is going to be supplied. And we saw, let's just quickly go back, that that is another way of saying, well, what is the secondary phase voltage? Now, we know that the primary side, here's the primary side, is connected in delta. So that means that the uh, line voltage on the primary side is going to be equal to the phase voltage on the primary side, which they've told us is 11 kilovolts. They've also given us the turns ratio. Uh, so we know that the turns ratio is primary to secondary 50 to 1. Primary to secondary 50 to 1. We can write that the other way around as secondary to primary 1 to 50. Now, I want you just to notice something here. I need to use the phase in both cases, okay? We're not looking at line voltage, we're looking at phase voltage. Why is that? Well, let's just go back to our diagram here. Uh, just for a moment, I want you to, to assume that these three coils uh, are aligned to these three coils here. And so let's just say that that coil is aligned to that coil, that this coil here is aligned to that coil, and this coil here is aligned to that coil. They tell us, they tell us that the uh, ratio, the turns ratio is 50 to 1. So there are 50 more turns in that coil than there are in that coil, 50 more turns in that coil than there are in that coil, and 50 more turns in that coil than there are in that coil. So for the moment, when dealing with the turns ratio, we need to look at the phase voltages, the voltage across each of the coils, not the voltage between the lines, not the voltage between the lines, the voltage across the coils, because when we're looking at this turns ratio, another way of thinking about this is actually just three single phase transformers. So 
That is why I have noted that uh, we are dealing with the phase voltage. Secondary to primary will be 1 to 50. Well, I know what the primary phase voltage is. Um, I can rearrange that equation to get it 1 divided by 50 multiplied by the uh, primary phase voltage, and that will be equal to the secondary phase voltage. I know what the primary phase voltage is. It's 11 kilovolts, and therefore I can solve this equation, and I get that my prime, uh, sorry, my, my phase voltage on the secondary side is equal to 220 volts. So that is the single phase voltage that is going to be supplied to customers. Now, just this wasn't asked uh, in the question, but uh, just as, a, as, a, as an exercise, uh, let's see if we can calculate what the line voltage is. Uh, on the secondary side. Okay, we know the secondary side is in star configuration, and we know therefore that the line voltage is going to be equal to the uh, phase voltage multiplied by the square root of three. Okay, because it's a it's a star configuration, and so therefore we know that the f the uh, line voltage is going to be equal to two hundred and twenty volts. <coughs> excuse me, multiplied by the square root of 3. And if I do that calculation, that means that the line voltage is equal to 220 multiplied by the square root of 3, which is equal to 381 volts, more or less. So uh, the uh, line voltage here is equal to 381 volts volts, more or less. Okay, so if there were a three-phase customer, uh, they would get a voltage of 381, because that is the line voltage, but the question asked us for the single-phase uh, customer, and the single-phase customer is going to draw the phase voltage, uh, which is just 220 volts.